Now we're going to look at how to send data to Predix APM using Edge Manager. So in this demo, first we're going to start with the device that's enrolled in Edge Manager. That's where we left off from the last demo. We'll deploy the OPC UA and Cloud Gateway applications from Edge Manager. Then we'll deploy configurations for those applications. And we'll finish by seeing data appearing in APM, like what you see in the screenshot on the right. Now before we get to the demo, real quick high-level architecture slide. I want you to understand how the data is getting there. So we're going to be using an OPC UA data simulator. And then on the Predix Edge side, after we deploy the application and configuration, an OPC UA protocol adapter will pick up the data from OPC UA, convert it to MQTT, and put it into the data broker. It'll put it on the cloud time series topic in the data broker, where the cloud gateway container is going to pick up that MQTT data and send it on to the Predix cloud. And that's how the data gets to APM. That's basically the journey of the data. Okay, let's start uh, real quick. I'm going to show you I've got this OPC UA data simulator. Predix Edge is also able to ingest data from MQTT and EGD, uh, Modbus, and OSI Pi. But in this case, I'm just using this OPC UA simulator on my laptop because it's easier than having an industrial control lab uh, in my basement. So <laughs> jumping over back to Edge Manager. Here we are in Edge Manager. So what we need to do now is we need to de deploy some Edge applications. You can see there are two already running, the Technician Console, which is that web UI you saw in the previous video, and the Predix Edge Broker, which is really MQTT. So let's deploy first the OPC UA adapter. There it is. We'll set that up. We'll say next, 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 submit. So that's going to deploy that. We'll also launch the deployment of, oops, go back to that Edge Apps tab and hit that Deploy button again. And we're going to deploy the Cloud Gateway. There it is. Cloud Gateway, next, 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 submit. So great. We've now launched two Edge Apps to be deployed. They're on their way. Um, First, the OPC UA adapter is going to go down there, and then the Cloud Gateway adapter is going to get down there. You can see the OPC UA adapter is in progress. So it's downloading from Edge Manager to the Edge device at this moment. And the Cloud Gateway is in the queue and will start going next. Uh, once those are completed, I will uh, launch the configuration files as well. Great. It looks like the OPC UA adapter is successfully deployed and the cloud gateway is now pending. While that's happening, I'm going to go into the configuration screen and deploy the configuration for the OPC UA adapter. And I've got two. So first we'll do this initial one. And we're going to target that at the OPC UA uh, container. So the configuration file is being applied to the OPC UA adapter that's already down there. Say next, schedule. All right, that's scheduled. And let's go back and see if the cloud gateway, yeah, it looks like the cloud gateway, does that mean it? Yeah, the cloud gateway is still pending. So we'll wait till that gets down there before we do the configuration file for the cloud gateway. These configuration files that I'm going to be deploying, they do things like, define what's the IP address of the OPC UA server, what tags do I want, how do I map them to the tags that uh, APM is going to be looking for. That Those sorts of details are provided in the configuration file, and that split between the business logic and the application containers and the site-specific uh, details that are in the configuration files really helps uh, separate the concerns of for the folks who are writing the applications versus the folks who are deploying them and configuring them. So at this point, both the OPC UA adapter and the Cloud Gateway service have both been deployed successfully from Edge Manager to the device. We've launched the applications and then we've configured them. So now let's see if we can start seeing the data in APM. And I'm just gonna click this 1H button to show data from the last hour. So you can see I'm getting data in APM now. Let's have a look, uh, closer look at that data. We're gonna uh, ha just pull the raw data in and let's see if we get more data when we do it that way. So we'll say apply. Let's zoom in here. There it is. You can see the data is coming in nicely. And it looks like we're getting data point every couple seconds. 
All right. Now, in the next demo, we're going to look at how to manage how much data we're ingesting.